Hello and welcome to Earth Juice. This week, well, there's been a spate of new discoveries recently from a new species of dolphin to a whole new human body part. And that got us thinking, how much left is there to learn about our planet? In an age where we can map our entire genetic code, this week goes to show that we still don't know everything about our own bodies. A study published in the Journal of Anatomy has described a new ligament in our knee called the anterolateral ligament, or ALL for short. Although first alluded to back in 1879 by French surgeon Paul Sagond, this is the first clear anatomical description of the ligament. Using macroscopic dissection techniques to examine 41 donated knee joints, the scientists pinpointed the ligaments running from the outer thigh to the shin. These may play an important role in protecting the knees from over-twisting, and the discovery could help surgery for knee injuries in the future. Elsewhere in the realms of scientific discovery, we're finding new species right under our noses. A new species of hammerhead shark has been discovered off the coast of South Carolina. The Carolina hammerhead looks virtually identical to the common scalloped hammerhead, but the two are genetically different, and the new species is slightly smaller and has 10 fewer vertebrae. This is an example of a cryptic species, two organisms virtually impossible to tell apart by eye, but that are genetically distinct. And this new species is much rarer than the scalloped hammerhead, which might have huge implications for conservation strategies in the future. There's confusion over our understanding of common species across the globe too. Researchers have determined that a population of dolphins off the northern coast of Australia represents a new species. New genetic and morphological evidence suggests that the Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin should be split into three species, one of which would be new to science. Humpback dolphins are named for the characteristic hump beneath their dorsal fin, and they're found in the Indian, Pacific and Eastern Atlantic Oceans, and it's thought that over time these isolated populations have evolved into four distinct species. And finally, as if a venomous egg-laying mammal with a bill like a duck's wasn't strange enough, down under they've unearthed a giant platypus fossil, dubbed Platypus zilla. Measuring over twice the size of the existing platypus, only a single fossilised tooth of Platypus zilla was found. The beast would have roamed through freshwater pools from long-lost Australian forests some 5 to 15 million years ago. With only four extinct species of platypus discovered to date, there are huge gaps in the fossil record for this species. So this giant platypus really helps to fill out the evolutionary story for this very, very odd creature. It's clear we've still got a lot to learn about the natural world. We don't even know what's in 95% of our oceans, what consciousness actually is, why we sleep, or yawn, or blush, or if there really is a yeti in the Himalayas. There's still a lot science has to answer. That's this week's juice. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want any more information on any of these stories, find the links in the description below. African lions rely on powerful mouths to suffocate their prey at the neck, clamping down on their victims with a pressure of 3,000 newtons. We're gonna be looking at some mesmerizing physics, droplets bouncing.